Welcome back to Ready, Set, Sold. I'm your host, Brian Vogt, and we are doing our Christmas special this week. And given that Christmas Eve is tomorrow and Christmas uh, is going to be Monday itself, and we have a special guest that's going to be on the next segment that we were so, so, so happy. Uh, this time of year, this, the big guy is kind of busy. So, again, if you've got small ones, you might want to uh, let them know to uh, stay tuned in the next segment. But in the meantime... We're going to be talking to my team, and we've got Kathy Popovich, and we've got Kelly uh, Etheridge there. You guys are both on the line, aren't you? Yes, we are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Basically, I wanted to have them on here just to kind of give, uh, again, talk to them some things that maybe they do during the course of the year. Um, one of the things I do want to bring out to them, though, that they're on our team, but uh, Kelly, just not only as an agent, has done a fantastic job this year. So blessed to have her with us. She has uh, been amazing with what she's done for, for, for clients. Uh, Kathy, same thing, does a fantastic uh, job with what she does on the team. So we're very blessed. I'm very blessed to have both of them on there. And I want to let people know that uh, how good you are not only as as what you do in the work field, but you're also just as good as people, and that's that's always a fun thing. So I appreciate you guys. Well, thanks, Brian. We, we appreciate you as well. Well, I appreciate that. So with that said, though, can we get, maybe give me some insight. Do you have anything, maybe a tradition that you guys do, or maybe is there just a certain food that you guys have every Christmas? Well, food is always important, but... <laughs> More important than that, <laughs> on Christmas Eve, as a family, we always go to church. Um, uh-huh. And after church, we come home and we'll open one present. And then we just sit around and we, we talk and we tell stories. And it's just a, a, a time to connect with our family. Oh, that is so neat. I, I love that because you're so right, because there is so much hustle and bustle that goes on with the holidays good or bad, and we're trying to get this done, we're getting that done. And I love that idea. Actually, that heck, I might even steal that one. That's that's kind of a, that's a fun one, just the idea, whether you go to church, which is a great thing too, just that time of just taking time to connect, and that, that sounds pretty powerful. Yeah. That's, Kathy, how about that's you? That's my favorite, yeah. No, well, no, I, 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 I love that. I love it. <laughs> Well, we generally get together on Christmas Eve, the whole family, you know, with uh, kind of uh, families that extend out through, you know, divorces or whatever. We have a lot of different families to uh, to visit. So we generally get to get together as Christmas Eve is our traditional time. Uh, and in our household, we also have two Christmases because my husband is a Serbian Orthodox, so we also celebrate a second Christmas on January 7th. That one doesn't have all the presents and things, but we have food, you know, light candles, go to church, that sort of thing. You know, I, I love that, too, because, again, sometimes, and, and yes, it is traditional Christmas, and, and, and you have that the 25th, but you also have you have other, other, other not only, you know, cultures, but religions, whatever, that celebrate during the course of the entire holiday season. I think that's important to note, and I'm glad you brought that up, and that's so cool, because... You know, we always say it, and, and but we always maybe always need to keep in mind that Christmas is one day, but it can, the holiday season can go the whole year, and hopefully that that spirit of of the holiday season carries on. And I think that's why I love what you said about that was was so cool. One of the things that uh, that I'm always kind of curious about, and so Kelly, do you traditionally celebrate on Christmas morning? Is that when the is is that when most things happen or Christmas Eve? How was it when you were growing up? Um, it was always we you know would celebrate Christmas Eve going by going to church, and then Christmas Day you know when the little ones wake up that's when Santa comes and and we get to enjoy watching them open their presents, and then we would have breakfast, um, and then later on in the day um, we would open up the the other presents. So it's it's a oh, non-ending. Okay. <laughs> it's a non-ending <laughs> celebration. Non-ending yeah. thing. I love that. How about you, Kathy? Uh, we generally did it uh, Christmas Day. 
uh, Christmas Eve was meant to go to a relative's house or that sort of thing. And then, obviously, when we were kids, you know, having opening up Christmas morning was like the excitement, you know. All the kids wanted to, you know, get to the presents as quickly as they could. So Christmas morning was, was our time for opening presents. Oh, that's neat. I see. It's... Uh... We we were a little bit, uh, I guess, different in that. Uh, I always grew up that we celebrated Christmas Eve was Christmas. That's when we opened up all of our gifts. And mm-hmm. and I personally loved it because basically you could play as late as you wanted to that night, so you had even more time to play with your things, and you didn't have to rely on my parents waking up in the morning so I could go right to it again <laughs> Christmas morning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's... You know, so I loved it. And, and the guys behind it, if you're wondering, we always went to my grandma's house. And mm-hmm. amazingly, uh, Santa, he is a cool dude, would always be able to hit our house by the time we got back. And so <laughs> how he did it, you know, he's an amazing guy. Uh, we're going to be talking to him in the next segment. But he always was able to have the uh, all the Christmas gifts out there. And also, it was amazing, too, that my other grandma always happened to be there to help him when we got back. Yeah. So, That's amazing. You know, how that worked, I don't know, but it was fun stuff. <laughs> any, any any other Christmas Marys, any, any other traditions that you guys uh, are doing this year or maybe starting with, with your families? Uh, I don't think anything new. Uh, we've just always been great on decorating. Christmas is kind of my special holiday. I love Christmas, so I'm very much into Christmas lights and, and decorating the whole house. So, you know, the kids get used to it. They say, here goes Mom. She's going to be decorating this year. So they come over to see. <laughs> and my husband does the outside of the house, and uh, he got called. Uh, let's see. He was uh, doing a Griswold Christmas this year. You should see the outside of our house. So, yeah, we're, we're really into lights. I love oh, it. Man. I love it. Kelly, how about you? I think we'll drive through the shrine and, and go see the lights there um, when we get back from uh, visiting with family. Um, I always enjoy uh, seeing the lights there and, and going through the shrine. It, it always just it, it warms my heart and, and just really fills me with that Christmas spirit. And, and I love that too because I, the, the, again, I think that's what it's all about. However you celebrate, whatever you do, uh, I think it is just the holiday season. The presents are great, but especially when we get a few years older, uh, I think that just the memories and and what 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 we're trying to do here, making things uh, hopefully better for the world and and making the world a little bit better place, and and that's you know that's not, never a bad thing, is it? No, no, it's not at all. Okay, well, hey, thanks so much for joining us. Merry Christmas to both of you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Sounds great. We'll be back very shortly with the big guy. And I do mean the big guy. I think you guys know by now what we're talking about. We're going to have Santa Claus on the line with us. So, again, get those kids ready uh, to listen to the big guy, and uh, we're going to be uh, asking some questions about him. We'll be back in a few. 